Hi, this is Anthony Castro. I'm the managing member of Exceptional Accounting, and today we're going to talk about how to create a new company file, assuming that you have just opened a brand new business and you want to get it set up in QuickBooks. So uh, when you first open up QuickBooks, there's going to be a screen where you can open up a previous file or click a button that says create a new company file. Um, once you click that button, this screen will pop up. Uh, you don't need to worry about this right now, so just click Start Interview. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a company and put in all the information. So, you know, put in the company name, put in your tax ID, whatever it is, and street address, etc. And then you're going to pick your your um, industry, so we're obviously in the accounting and bookkeeping industry, you're going to pick the type of company that your company is registered as. Um, if you don't know what that is, you may want to talk with someone like an accountant or whatnot to walk you through it. If you haven't registered as anything, most companies default as a sole proprietorship. Um, so, but ours is a LLC just for example so we're gonna do that you're gonna fi pick your physical year um, when it starts uh, usually this is January if you don't know when your physical year starts then January is a good place to start because it just means that your company's physical year normally starts on January and then resets the following January etc so you just pick January uh, type in an administrator password if needed um, if you don't want one you don't need one but it's probably good to have one just to safeguard your information so you can put one in there and click next and that's gonna ask you where do you want to save your company file so I've just got a part right here I'm gonna create a new folder new company and we're opening that up we're gonna save it as this And we're going to click Save. It's going to create the file for us at that point. And of course, it's going to take a minute. So it will basically save the file where you um, indicated. And that's going to be where it was. I would recommend putting that file on your desktop, honestly, so that it's easily accessible and you know where it is and you don't have to dig around for it. Um, once that's done, so now we're gonna ask us more questions. It's gonna ask you what do you sell? Services, products, or both services and products? Well, um, in the accounting business, so I'm just gonna do services because I don't have any product. Do we charge sales tax? That's question, you know, it's gonna ask you. It'll give you recommendations uh, for what you do. You can follow those. Uh, if you have any if you need any more detailed answers then you may want to talk with an accounting professional but you can just put no do you want to create estimates uh, quote that's which are quotes or bids or proposals yes or no you know what your you know your business better than anyone so you can you will know if that's something you're gonna need um, are you gonna need statements billing statements um, of course we're gonna need that so it's giving me the recommendation um, we're using invoices I'm going to say no, but actually I'm going to put yes because we're going to be using invoices. And progress invoicing, it gives you all the description for what it is and it shows you what it is. So if you just read it, you can kind of get an idea if it's something you're going to need or not. Am I going to keep track of my bills? Yes. Time for employees? Well, kind of depends if you have employees or not. Do you have employees? No. Yes. Put the answer in there. So. Just going to put no for this. And the chart of accounts, we're on to that. And the next part is asking to select a date to start tracking your finances. Um, you can pick whenever. Um, I would just choose the beginning of the year. Um, you know, you don't, you may have had expenses that you incurred personally instead of through the business bank account that need to be tracked. So you can just put the beginning of the year and click next and right now it's going through the income and expense accounts 
and you can basically pick which accounts you would like to have in QuickBooks starting out. So if you see something in there, like for example interest income, I'll probably need that because I got a bank account, a savings account. Um, health insurance, you know, I got health insurance, so I'll probably want that expense. Just go through it and it try to it tries to customize it to your your service. If you want to add additional accounts, we can do that later. So you're gonna press next press next. Congratulations and now it's actually gonna open up the file. Uh, so now the next part right here it's asking you for different setups and adding to do adding different things so this is good so add your bank accounts of course we want to do that so we're gonna click add so you can put in the amounts right here so let's say I bank with Wells Fargo and my account number is I don't know something like that that's the last four digits of the account you can put in the account number whatever it is put opening balance uh, opening balances, we don't really have to worry about that because we're assuming we have a new company, so you would just put zero. And the opening balance date, if you just want to select a date, let's just say that I opened my account on the first and the opening balance was zero. And you press continue. Um, if you want to print checks from QuickBooks, you know, that's your preference if you'd like to do that. Just press continue. So we added a bank account. Uh, now, products and services you sell. Click that. So I'm in the accounting business, so we're going to choose service. If you're trying to do non-inventory parts, that's if you are actually selling products, but you don't want to track the inventory associated with the product. Um, so basically, it's just a simple way of, you know, if you sell pens or whatever it is you sell, you can create items for that. But since I'm in the service industry, I'm just going to do service and press continue. Then you put the name um, service. Let's do bookkeeping services and then the description you know bookkeeping just as it says and a price you know whatever price you want to do you know let's just say twenty five dollars an hour I don't know whatever um, and you press continue one item already ready and then you can press continue again so I've done a service and add the people you do business with if you want to do this you can import contacts from these areas. Um, you know that's pretty easy. It'll just you have to put in your login information and it will do it for you. So uh, that's that's that. And press start working, and you are in your general file. Now, if you want to review again the chart of accounts to see what accounts you have, if you press Control A or come here and press chart of accounts it will bring up all of the accounts that you have created so for example there's the bank account I created if you need to create a new one you just come down here to account and press new and you can create a new account so let's say um, if we go back let's say I don't like my income accounts I have accounting services income consulting income sales income let's say I want something more specific I click new choose income press continue and I want to be more specific let's do um, corporate bookkeeping clients etc we can make that a sub account if you want it to be a sub account of a main account so for example accounting services income I've made the corporate bookkeeping clients a sub account of this you can put in a description put in a note um, tax line mapping that's something we're going to get into later but for example if you wanted to um, or you knew what kind of income or where this would go on a tax return you could put it here I don't recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing so I would just leave that unassigned for now and press save and close and now when I look here I have my main accounting services income account and then I have my corporate bookkeeping clients sub income account again account new account and you can pick whatever one you want if you need to you open up a credit card you need to put that on there you can press continue and same thing Wells Fargo credit card three da 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 
put in the description, put in the account number if you'd like, and just press save and close. Now notice that this one already populated, just leave it. If it already, um, if it populates something for you, I just leave it alone. And you only need to do the entering balance if you're, um, you know, if you acquire a card that's already open. Again, we're just assuming you're doing everything completely from scratch and you have a brand new credit card. So you would just do that and that's how you set up your credit cards. Online services, we're going to get into that later in a different tutorial. But in a nutshell, that is how you set up a brand new um, QuickBooks account. So uh, if you have any questions, please check us out at exceptionalaccounting.com and send me an email. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And that is how you do it. So thanks a lot for listening and come back and visit us again. Thanks.